Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Dolly 3, or we're using Dolly 3, and we're actually in Microsoft Bing's Image Creator. And what we're going to do is we're going to create professional logos with accurate text, and we're going to do that with a few things in mind. One, these are free. Two, we're going to vectorize them, and we're also going to show you, I'm going to show you how you can edit them all without opening Illustrator or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how to make professional logos without any software for free. Big claim. Let's see if we can back it up. All right, let's go. So the first step here is you want to go to Microsoft Edge. You want to use the Microsoft Edge browser. This can be done in Google Chrome like I'll show you here. Here I did it, but Microsoft Edge has an exam uh, has a has an advantage part of me and in particular you can edit to some degree with Edge that you can't do in others. So go to Microsoft Edge, install it if you haven't installed it. Once you've done that, follow along with me. We're gonna go to bing.com and then I'm gonna click on images up here at the top and then I'm gonna go ahead and avoid all of these Chris Hansen traps or whatever the heck all this stuff is and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. So bing.com images create when you get there you're going to get to see this here and you're going to see here i've got like 94 cracks at it left so every week you get about 100 tokens and then if you run out of tokens it just slows down a little bit but it remains free so this is entirely free now what i need to do is i'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste in a prompt so i want to create a bulldog logo so here's my prompt again you can write any type of logo you want but here's what i'm going to go with design a 3d style logo for a french bulldog web design company offering web design services the logo should have a black background and bright colors and add kingston media below the logo the reason why i put that in there and in quotation marks is because dolly 3 in a lot of cases gets the text correct not in every case but in a lot of them so i'm going to click on create and then presto, it's going to go ahead and cook up something for me nice. You'll see here that I've already run a few examples in the past here. And a lot of them were really, really good. I'm not going to lie. So I'll come. Oh, it's already done. So let's take a quick look at this. So this one here, we, we ran. It gave me four examples. The only one that worked perfectly is the bottom right here. The other ones seems like they forgot the S and this one forgot the I. Okay, so they're still working on it. But here we go. Let's go with this one. It looks pretty cool. I'll click on it. Now check this out. And remember, I am in Microsoft Edge. This isn't going to work the next part here um, in, in Google Chrome. So this is why we're doing it. So, okay, I like this, but maybe I want to make some changes. In Edge, I'm going to right click on the image here. And then if I right click, you're going to see here I have some options, including edit image. So I can now go in and make a few edits. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And the reason why is because that gets rid of that watermark, like Bing watermark crop. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then maybe I want to make an adjustment to it. So when I click up here, you'll see I can crop it. I can make adjustments. So if it's not bright enough, I can brighten it and I can change the exposure. All that good stuff that you can generally do in things like Instagram and stuff like that, you can do here. You can't really go in and start changing uh, any of the, the colors on an individual basis. But again, you can make some pretty cool changes like increase the saturation, decrease it. It's all of a sudden black and white, nice and simple. So anyways, I'll just go ahead and make a few changes. And then presto, you'll also notice you can add filters. So if you want to make a different style here, you've got a filter that you like go ahead and go nuts. I'm going to go ahead and just click on save and I'm just going to save it. So there you go. I've saved it and it's even going to download it for me. So I'm going to click out of this and now, oh no, I'm going to save it first. So there we go. We saved it. Now I click out. Now if I want to download it, all I got to do here is click on this little download button and presto. If you know how to use Microsoft Designer or you, um, you know, you want to do that, you can click on the customize button and it will load up Microsoft Designer and it will allow you to go nuts and do some Microsoft Design stuff if you want to put it in a postcard or a, a social media post or something like that. So I'm going to X out of it like I did. But there you go. Now, if I downloaded it, here's where I'm going to show you one other thing. Watch this. I'm going to go to a website called Vectorizer.ai and I'm going to take that image that I just made. So I've made this logo right here. You'll notice that it's a JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and drop that into vectorizer.ai. I'll leave a link in the description below. And now all of a sudden, that image that we created or that logo is now going to be vectorized. So we have vectorized it. It's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's done a pretty good job. And if I like it, I can click on download. 
and then it'll just download it for me. And now watch this. If I go back into my finder, you'll see here that it says dot SVG. That means scalable vector graphics. So if I load that, that is now vectorized. So we can go ahead and work on it in Illustrator and other similar programs. So there you go. That's how you create a logo. We put the right text on it. We made some changes to it. We vectorized it. All of that for free. Thanks for watching.